Last time that I checked, they was selling zones in the set. Make a quarter mil, no sweat. Last time that I checked. I'm the streets voice out west, legendary self-made progress. Last time that I checked, first you get the money, then respect. And the so I went to Walgreens to get this kit I've been hearing so much about. It's bring the salon home kiss salon dip. It's a professional dipping system. It was just only $13 and something. <laughs> so I wanted to try it out and see what it's about. And it said it's supposed to be easy. So we're going to try it out today. So this kit came with a brush on gel. Kiss brush on gel. It also came with a dip powder. I thought it would be little, but it's not that little. Then it came with two brushes just in case you mess up the other one. The kit also came with a sponge. And the activator. And it has some nails with it. It has the white tip and the natural tips. It also came with this nail file and a cuticle stick to push back your cuticles. And we're going to dip our powder in here in this little dish. So number one says select the correct size for each finger, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to buff our nails and make sure that the shine is off the nail first. And we're going to um, push back our cuticles before we put the nail tip on. So my nails look like this because I had acrylic on them, but I'm going to push back my cuticles with the cuticle stick. I'm just going to keep pushing it back. Now we're going to use this drill. I know everyone doesn't have a drill, but I got it from Amazon. And I think it was only like $10. But we're going to use it for our cuticle area and get all the dead skin from underneath the cuticle. So my um, page is mainly on beauty and on the budget. So all of my products won't be expensive at all. Now I'm going to buff my nails and take the shine off. And I put it on low settings. I put the drill on low settings. So... I won't mess up my nails, my natural nails. If you don't have a drill, you can use this nail file and just buff your nails and take the shine off with that. I'm doing my left hand with that. And then you can push back your cuticles. So I decided to use the natural tips because I don't know who uses the white tips anymore. And I already sized my fingers to see which nail go on which hand and which finger. And I'm using the brush on gel to put the nails on my fingers. So now I got all the tips on my fingers. And I got to cut and shape my nails. I would keep it this size, but no. <laughs> now I'm going to cut it to my desired length. Now I'm going to use my straight edge nail clippers and cut the sides off. And then I'm going to shape them. So I like how my nails look, so I'm going to shape them with the nail file. So after we shape our nails, we're going to put the zipping powder in here. And we're going to dip our nails. Now we're about to start. I'm going to put my brush on gel on my finger, on my nails, a thin coat. And then we're going to put it on there and dip our finger into the powder. And you have to do this to all your nails. Do it at least three times to five just until you feel like it's the thickness that you want. So after you let it dry, you use the sponge and we're going to dust all the powder away. 
before putting the brush on gel on again. And it's already hard, so just do it at least three to five times and you'll be straight. So now I'm buffing my nails and after I buff my nails, I'm going to put the activator on there so it can be hard. 